Yo, yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Duraika and you know what's going on. I'm here. We active and we finna get to it, man. Stay tuned, let's get it popping. Let go. Let go! Okay. Look tragic, tragic. Guys, today, so coming back with a banger. This is a ball fade, little enhanced, um, clean, super fade with the beard, man. You can see I'm going in, I'm creating my first guideline, and you know, we can act into this cut. I'm gonna create my first guideline with something that I can get the guideline out with. A lot of guys misunderstand that and they don't understand what you're saying, but whatever you put that line in there with, you gotta take it out. So I'm gonna do that with my Andy's T liners today. They they are skeleton, so you know, they create a better of a, a cutting surface for what I'm trying to use them for. guys I'm going into this cut and I'm um, finishing balding it out from where I made my first guideline or still currently making my guideline and as you do this you know it's all about the basis and the format of how you like to, to draw or map your haircuts out everybody's different some people fade from the bottom up some people fade from the top down it's all a preference thing and you got to choose based on what you want to do and how you like to cut and, and, and when you're doing that you're doing it to fit what works best for you. And so in a sense, this works better for me. I'm starting my guidelines, drawing it out, putting it in there, starting my first guideline out with something that won't make a hard line, and that's easy to get it out with. And you'll see at the end of this video, as I get to the end of it, because um, we're really getting into the heat of this cut right now. As I'm going into this, as I'm going into this cut and really heating it up, I made my first guideline. Now I'm going to go back over the cut and I'm going to take some more hair out and cut it down to the desired length that my client wanted. Um, in doing so, this just assures me that it's all even um, all around the scalp, so I can see exactly where I'm going, exactly where I need to cut, exactly how I need to fade and approach going into this cut. Everybody has a different setup, everybody has a different basis, everybody follows a different blueprint. I follow one, I formatted one that has worked the best for me. And um, I'm just here to help you guys add little grains of salt to your to your mix up or to your cutting system. And this will help better you, you know. So with that being said, you know, stay tuned. Remember to like and subscribe, man. Follow me on Instagram at the right cut. That's at D-E-E-W-R-I-G-H-T. C U T underscore the right cut. So I'm going to begin my fade process with my Andy's Master Coreless with the knob on the side. It's going to be started with open so as you can see it's creating a guideline and as I go to create that guideline I brush after every few strokes I brush just to help lay their hair down and kill all the dead ones out um, because we're, we're, we're starting what you would say is a process or a one-step system to cutting and in doing so you give a basis of where you want to start and how you want to finish and then what you need to do to detail in between um, and then with these type of cuts especially with his hair type as you can see my client is African American but his hair type it, it's a little thicker it's a little denser um, it's had big coarse but it has that look when it's faded and blended right it just pops and so when I'm going through this cut you'll see that so I'm about to dive in here with my one guard same thing as I started, you know, with that, with that, um, with that clever open with no guard. Same process, you know, one guard, open, um, and we're gonna take bulk out. We're just gonna debulk, 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 debulk. And in, in this video, I'm really gonna walk out through this thing because, you know, certain videos I realized I kind of sped it up. But right now, I really want to walk out through what I'm doing. So this whole time, right now, we're just gonna be debulking, um, knocking that down to a blended level to where I can blend fully blend this haircut in. Um, 
I feel like a lot of people miss that with cutting. You want to have everything blended precisely or more accurately, or, you know, more accurately, the most accurately as possible, per se. Sorry, I'm trying to get my grammar down, be professional as possible while I'm doing this, so y'all hang tight. So it will speed up right here, but as you can see, I'm still going through that basis with that bar. I'm going to kick it up, you know, and you, you see that bling slowly transitionally coming together, you know. And as you're doing so, this is kind of like a, it's kind of like a life reference. It's like you know, you want to rush things overnight with life, you know, and get to the top, which is never the case. It's a slow process, it's a slow grind, you know. And this is and, and this haircut is just, it's the basis of kind of like a life lesson. It's like you're basing basically walking your life down, process step by step, doing this. And this is kind of how the haircuts go. So I'm in there with that one guard, and I'm just slowly blending, blending, knocking weight out. You need to become that haircut that, I, that my client desires because that's the look that he wants. And so, in doing so, I have to create a step by step system, kind of like life, you know, I'm taking a step by step system, growing, leveling up. And I'm leveling up through these cuts and I'm just getting it done to get that uh, desired, achieved look. Excuse me. same process same system still on the same side of the haircut um, I am now just switching that guard to halfway oh, excuse me guys I apologize uh, and I'm switching to halfway just to you know we're starting to blend that haircut together more and more and so after halfway I guess you guys know what's next it's gonna be closed so we're gonna close that out bottom it out to help to, to get to that desired favor you want that fade to be well blended, precisely. So as you can see, I'm just doing that, man. Now I'm switching through my guard, back and forth, just trying to get that blend to slowly come together. Um, and I hope you guys can see it pretty well at the angle, just to see kind of where it's kind of heavy, especially on the top of the head, just to give you that side view angle. The thing about cutting is that you want to look at the haircut from all different angles, man, because there's so many different angles, so many different ways you can look at this, man so many different ways you can go about it and you got to take that into account a lot of people don't understand it you know they think that anybody can just cut hair and it's just a haircut but that's the thing it's not just a haircut um, so yeah trying to bottom out that fade and clean it up using my zero guard I'm gonna go from open halfway to close and as you'll see if you pay attention to my thumb you'll see me switching that's when I'm switching my guards or switching my lever system up and down halfway to close to open to halfway to close it's all the process is a blueprint system using my Andy's masters corded this has a fade blade on there, gold fade blade. I'm going to bottom out that fade and clean it up to get that desired look. You want that fade to be clean, you want it to be detailed, you want it to be blended. That's all that matters, man.
flip around to the other side of the cut, you can see the blend and, and what we have gotten from just that step-by-step -step process. That's usually me just going from a no guard to a one guard all through the process. No guard, zero guard, one guard. Here, I'm just detailing, using the tip of my blade to just go into that fade and just blend it out to get a well-blended, balanced haircut now. A lot of people miss that though. You really just want a well-balanced, blended, clean haircut. Quality over quantity. Anybody can cut hair, but not everybody can grow hair. It's, it's, it's a process, it's a system. Check this out, man. I know y'all like that blend, for real. So as the, as, as the haircut gets deep into it, man, right here I'm going to add a little bit of shampoo to his hairline. Um, in doing so, this helps lay it down, helps clean it, cleanse it from all the dirt. And we're going to dry it out just to kind of get it ready and prepped to line up. Um, and in doing so, man, this is a little trick I learned, man. You want to keep it clean, man. And, I've already, and the hair's already been washed, but again, I just go over it again. Um, and it creates that clean haircut look. You add that in with a hot towel. And, and, and the things that it does for the haircut, it makes it makes it look really, 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 really dope. You know, really dope. And a client truly appreciates it too. I will say that, man. The extra step, the extra method, just to get them looking fresh. Your client really pays attention. They take notice of it, man. Y'all should have really add that into your list of um, tricks, bag of tricks that you got for your clients. It makes it a dope thing in essence. For you. that you create with this look man. So I'm gonna lay his beard down by taking a little bit of weight out of it first. I believe, I'm pretty positive that is a three guard. So that's a three guard closed. Um, he had a lot of girth on there. So we're gonna lay that down. It's gonna help create a more defined look, especially with his, like, you see the way his skin glows and he has a strong cheekbone. This is gonna, you know, really make a difference with his beard. So as I comb it, now I'm gonna go gently against the grain, trimming those dead hairs. That's how you make it pop, man. You make that beard pop. So you get a new angle of it right here using my hands. But yeah, we're laying the grain of it, man. Creating the foundation for a clean, well-balanced, groomed beard. You guys will see more of that as this haircut goes on. So stay tuned. So yeah, guys, you know, getting towards the end of this cut. Not quite yet, but we're getting towards the end of it. Um, I have pre-sprayed him for enhancements. Now I'm going to go into lining him. So the way I line, a lot of you may have heard from my previous videos, but I line from the middle over, right to left, and left to right, and vice versa. For me, that works better. It creates a blood balance system for me to see the haircut. Just following that system of the guideline and following my hand um, over from the right side to the left side, and left to the right, creating that clean blood balance lineup that you would like to see on the haircut. So as I go through this, you'll see kind of just um, stay tuned and you know, keep in grab with things that I'm doing. Um, I did prep his haircut as you did see with the. Uh, shampoo and hot towel. I also added some like, spritz spray. Um, I kind of didn't want to get you know that on footage of this one this time because I've given that out on my jewels and my previous YouTube videos. We have to go back through them, take a look at them and see. But for those who have kept up, man, you already know what's going on. Stay tuned, keep watching. Watch as this haircut evolves. It's going to be a banger, man. I'm loving it.
I see this thing coming together. Boy, is it looking crispy as ever. Man, I'm excited to see what the end this cut, man. Y'all don't even know. And I'll probably watch this video three or four times. But just the fact that I get to watch it over and over and it's my work and I'm just perfecting my craft. Like, I can't wait to even cut my client when he comes back, man. So, as y'all can see, man, I'm just, right now I'm just detailing that cut. He's just fine tuning my approach, man. You know what I'm saying? Crossing my T's and dotting my I's. So, as a word to my man, Nick Russell. For me, the best part about cutting is seeing my client's face, you know what I'm saying? Because I really, really, really want to do that quality haircut, man. And so, for them to be able to come in my shop and get that, Tragic, get that quality, you know, I look well from the Dallas haircut from the fade to the beard to the lineup. Can't beat it, man. It's a one stop shop. I'm just offering services. I got products. I just feel like this is right here is what men's grooming is. And to me, you can't, you can't beat it, man. You cannot beat it. So keep tuning in. Stay tuned, man. As always, as always, please like, subscribe, comment. Um, follow me on Instagram at the right cut. And stay tuned. You know what I'm saying? We ain't done. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of cooking up. We're getting towards the end. But it's getting good. So, yeah, guys. As I get back on topic right here, I'm kind of just blending that beard out, creating a little tapered look on the beard. Using my wall pose right here, my magic foot. I'm just going to blend that out, you know. Create a clean, little light tapered look on the beard. It's not overdoing it because when I put that line on there, it's going to make it pop and you're going to notice the As you can see, I'm just, you know, tapering it in detail. You know? It's all about your fine tuning to your approach. You see the little taper, how you can pop. And when I put the braids on there, it's going to do its thing. And from there, it'll be, you know, an uphill battle because it's like, for me, cutting hair again, guys, I'll tell you, I love this. This is my heart. It's my cut. Making my clients look good is what I do. So, in a sense, man, I, will, I don't think I could be happy anywhere else, but I also say that it's like, I found my passion, I understand my purpose, I know what I'm getting. For that, I'm thankful, I'm grateful, man. I truly am. Yo, yes sir. So, you know, right here, this is the favorite part, you know, fine tuning and detailing. So right now I'm just touching my client's beard up. As you see, it's glowing. It is looking good, man. The right cuts a century. This is the right cut shop. So listen, man, right here, this is our beard and face wash, you know, House of Classic Cuts Beard and Face Wash. This is a two-in-one. For the men right here, this is what you need. It's full aids, hydrates, and purifies the beard. I top it off with a hot towel. My clients love it, man. I mix that in the mix, put it on them, wait for the glow of the skin. That's, that's what I really want y'all to see, man. The glow of the skin with the hot towel. For me, you can't beat it, man. Because right there, I only just make it a hot towel on this lineup. He had a hot towel on his beard. Yes, this is all for a video, it's a promo, but it's also insight and tutorial for people who are trying to become a barber because right here, this is what you consider quality top-notch services. You have to market to the business who understand and want them because these are the people who are going to appreciate them. This right here, you cannot get this just anywhere. Most people want this area. Some people want a grooming service. With this, this is what you're getting in full detail, 4K. You can't beat that, man. Look at the smile. Look, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all, y'all can see the smile. It might be the sense the smile of my voice, man. It's a vibe, man. For real. It's a vibe. So as I go in here with my razor, um, it is an exposed razor. I bought this a long, we bought that razor a long time ago from Smash the Legend. Needs to say, man, banger, complete banger, you know. All the way from the from from the bottom to the top. I love this video, man. It turned out to be great, and I appreciate y'all for tuning in. So I'm cleaning my client up with the razor right here. Y'all see that edge up is popping, the skin is glowing, the fades on point. You can't beat it, man. You really cannot. Like, and I say this to any barber listening, you know, tuning in. Please, 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 please. Put your time and take your time with your work. You put your time in and take your time with it. Because this is all you got, and your clients are gonna appreciate that. And you, this is your work, and you want it to look good. So, in a sense, man, 
put pressure on that. Put time into it. You know, master your craft. Gather your thoughts. Figure out what you want to do with this thing. And take it the distance, man. And you can see with just this, this, this right here, man. Just everything from the end to from the beginning to the end of this cut to how it's shaping and you're getting all these visuals and these different looks and these aspects, man. You can't beat it, man. And I love what I do. Um, yeah, man. So I want to thank y'all for tuning in. It's your boy, The Right Cut. At The Right Cut. That's at D E E W R I G H T C U T underscore. Thank y'all for tuning in, man. And if you need a cut, man, you know where to go. Come to the right cut. Thank y'all for tuning in. Tell me what you think. Let go.